guys, it's Joe from One Up Reviews, and today we've got a loafer review and unboxing of the Dr. Martin's Adrian Loafers. Before we get to this review, guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Slap that thumbs up, we want to see those likes, helps us greatly. Drop some love in the comment section below. We try our best to reply to every single comment that's thrown out our way. I just want to take this time and opportunity to thank our subscribers, new and old. Without you guys, we can't do this, so thank you. Let's go, and today we've got a look at a pair of loafers. I've been eyeing these up for as long as time, I guess, um, to be exaggerating really. But I've really wanted a pair of the Dr. Martin's Adrian loafers for quite a while. It's wedding season coming up here in the UK and I just wanted something easy to wear and that's quite fashionable. So I, I looked no further than to Dr. Martin's and we've done tons of Dr. Martin reviews in the past. We've done the classic boots and we've done the casual boots as well. So check those reviews out. But today we've got more formal, but it's yet casual. We got to look at the Adrian Cherry Red Loafers. We got these in the UK size seven. It's European 41, and it's US men's eight. And let's get unboxing. Right here. Just gotta get rid of all this material that you know do. That's on this loafer here. And here they are in all its glory. Look how beautiful, sleek these loafers are. Again, you could wear these with any, like in my opinion, you could wear loafers with anything. I mean, I'm going to be using it for wearing a suit, but I mean, it's not going to stop me wearing them with a plethora of outfits. Before we get into all this nitty gritty, beautiful details and make these loafers, we'll start with the outsole. And this outsole is a PVC outsole, is the original Dr. Martin's air cushioned sole, bouncing soles as the guys at Dr. Myers would market them as. And you can see them use this kind of sole on a lot of their products. They use it on their 1460 boots, the 1461 shoes. And as I mentioned, a wide range it is Dr. Martin staple. You know, that's this kind of aggressive look, but it keeps it every once in a while, you know, it's quite, you can use it for casual use at the end of the day. It's very comfortable once you break these in because Dr. Martin's are notoriously known for taking a while to break in, into their shoes. Moving along on to the midsole again. So the, again, this midsole unit is part of the outsole. Air cushioned right there, very comfortable. I mean, I've got a pair of 1461 free eye shoes after wearing Dr. Martin's for years. They are very comfortable. You're gonna to have to take my word for it, guys. Moving along onto the upper. So this upper is all leather all around. It's in this beautiful cherry red Arcadia finish. That's what DMs would like to call it. These are welted as well, right there. It doesn't have the famous stitching, but it's Goodyear welted all around. The upper beautiful leather, as you can see it there sheen it's a very premium look and the great thing is that these loafers are a reasonable price so i was able to purchase these for 129 pounds and for what you're paying you're getting a lot in regards to heritage of dr martin's and you know formal use as well like right? these look beautiful you got your stitching around the toe box area there the main body of this shoe itself, again, in this beautifully crafted leather. No pull tabs. I mean, I suggest that you get a shoe horn to get your feet in. And loafers, with them being loafers, you just slip them on. Usually, the traditional penny loafer, what, you know, your Baswegians and other brands that make loafers, they usually have the penny loafer detail that's on the front, where the tongue would be. But these Adrian Tassel loafers has 
a fringe right there. And as I mentioned, the tassels for decorative use. The insole, it's a beautiful insole. You got it, it's a leather insole as well. The lining isn't so much leather. It's a blend of materials actually, it's leather and uh, some synthetics. But the insole is a leather footbed. You got the Dr. Martin's logo pressed up on there and yeah i can't really say anything more but these loafers speak for themselves they're beautifully crafted they're renowned they're part of that heritage family of dr martin shoes so you can't think of the boot without thinking of the shoe as well as their beautiful loafers i'm going to say beautiful a lot because these are gorgeous I know we do sneaker reviews, but we thought we would switch it up. And again, we've done tons of Dr. Martin's reviews in the past. So do check those out if you get the opportunity to. I can't wait to show you guys what they look like on. And um, hopefully this influences you to not only buy sneakers, but to also purchase some nice formal attire. So roll that footage of me trying these loafers on. When it comes to Dr. Martin's shoes, I recommend that you get your, your shoe to size, Dr. Martin's size. Um, for me, that I'm a UK size seven. So let me put that into perspective for you guys watching who you are usually sneakerheads. I'd go a half size down uh, to what you usually wear. Uh, when it comes to sneakers, Nike in particular, I'm a size a seven and a half, which is a European 42. So if I went half the size down, which is the UK size seven, which these are, Dr. Mines, that's a U European 41. And uh, that is a size down to my European size. So I'll hopefully make that a tiny bit clear. With all that said, these are really nice on. Again, I can't tell if, if you saw me struggle when I was putting these on. Uh, that's because I didn't bring a shoehorn with me. Usually I do have a shoehorn for my loafers, but unfortunately I wasn't able to bring one today. That's my own fault, my bad. But I recommend to get a shoehorn. I mean, that sh should be a given. These look beautiful on. Guys, I have full intentions of wearing these with a wide range of outfits. Today I'm wearing a pair of black Levi's 501 jeans. Um, I've mentioned that I'm gonna to go to a wedding and hopefully I'll be wearing these. So I'll be wearing formal trousers with these. I haven't decided what color my suit's gonna be, but I know that they're gonna be banging with these on. You can go jeans, slacks, work trousers. I mean, you can go on it. It will just give it a more elegant look, a more lifted premium look when you wear loafers, in my opinion. It's really comfy like on the outs, uh, on the underside of my feet. But like I mentioned, a lot of Dr. Martin's shoes, you need to break them in. Not gonna lie to you, these are a bit tight at the top of my feet, where the tassels are, where um, just underneath there, where my feet are. But I know they're gonna break and once they break in, they're lovely. It's just gonna be lush. So please take into, into consideration everything I've said in regards to the fit, how they feel on, and you know the time it takes to break them in. Usually it will take a couple of weeks of wearing them non-stop, or if you've got to space it out, hopefully in a month's time if you don't wear it every day. So do get into a habit of walking around in your house probably with your Dr. Martin's on.
Thanks guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us at One Up Reviews with a Z at the end. Before I wrap it up, I do recommend that you invest in Dr. Martin's Wonder Balm if you're having troubles putting these on. And if you want to take care of them as well, Dr. Martin's have great cleaning products and shoe care products that will help maintain the sheen, the shine, and the character of these Dr. Martin's, whatever shoes you get. This is not a sponsored ad from Dr. Martin's, but guys, if someone there from Dr. Martin's is watching, you know, help some, uh, some of your boys out. Thanks again. Till next time, peace.